I'm Paul Morgan and my role is that of the King's Assay Master at the Royal Mint. So to produce a Star Wars design we first start with the concept and then we are looking then as we build the series around this at what are the main iconic characters and for this coin R2-D2 and C-3PO are instantly recognisable to Star Wars fans. We go from this stage then of producing a 2D design and once we're happy and that's approved we work with a 3D computerised model. Following on from this we'll cut our initial tooling, our trial dies and that will be done on the laser that you can see here. Once we have those we go into our first test phases of striking metal and that's where we'll see the first coin and if we're happy with these that's where we'll have the final sign off and approval before we start bulk production of the coins. We anticipate huge popularity and demand for this collection. There are millions of Star Wars fans all across the globe and it has such a huge history. I mean, the fact that we're celebrating the 40th anniversary of one of the films today is testament to the longevity of, of that brand and of the interest that people have in the Star Wars franchise. Additionally, the iconic characters that appear on today, we also have a latent feature. And a latent feature is something that we use on coins where the image can change as you move the coin. So to produce the tooling for the Star Wars coin, we'll first work with our designers to capture the model. But following this, we'll then cut a hard steel billet with one of our laser cutting machines. Today sees us launching the first in a four coin collection for Star Wars. The first design on the reverse is C-3PO and R2-D2. We then move on to as coin two, Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine. Coin three is Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. And coin four will feature Han Solo and Chewbacca. One of my favorite features of these coins is the lenticular feature that appears on each coin. On the C-3PO and R2-D2 coin, this is, when you turn it in the light, this alternates between Tatooine and the Rebel Alliance Starbird logo. The first coin in the series will be available to buy on the 10th of July. But on that day, we'll also be revealing the other three designs in the series. So customers will have a chance to secure all four coins on the 10th of July. The Star Wars collection will launch on a 50 pence, which is the most beloved and popular collectible denomination in the UK. It will also be available on an ounce range, which we know our international collectors across the globe will be really pleased about as well.